So hey there, fellows. You can see what I've got, and the reason you're seeing this picture is that, well, for a couple of months now, every morning starts with our staff coming to work, and I'd already be here uh, taking notes or doing some research, and you'd hear somebody yell like, are we gonna pour honey into an engine today or what? Let's do it, let's fill an engine with honey, and if it survives, we've also got some of this stuff, which is condensed milk. Okay, honey, condensed milk, uh, Mitsubishi, let's do this. Now, there is one thing I need to explain here. Each and every engine is, of course, running one of these. An oil filter. And we have decided prior to installation to remove the filter's internals. That's to make it so... Um, that these substances are able to circulate more freely. To make things easier for the oil pump and to avoid um, honey starvation. <laughs> so yeah, let's drop the oil, replace the filter, and fill the engine with some honey. Let's get to it. We are looking good, and now we're gonna go ahead and take this honey. Which one is this, motley grass? What's it called? Right, that's flower honey, and this is milkweed. That should work. Okay, well... This should be a pretty engaging process. No, this is going fairly well, actually. Not bad, I'd say. Pouring it in. This is going quite well. And I like that. Maybe leave a bit for whoever's got a sweet tooth? Delicious. It is honey. Here we... Give me a rag, don't just stand there. Yeah, I'll spill it a bunch of times anyway. Okay, so that was more than four kilos, like uh, four and a half, which is about four liters. We've poured it in, time to start the engine. Okay, so we've uh, provided some nice sweet treats. Now let's check on uh, the level. It looks all right, it's about halfway. I do see some bubbles though. I guess the oil has moved up, eh, no big deal. Go ahead, fire it up. Yeah, what else did we expect? It's running. We've got a light. Which one? Oil pressure. We got an oil pressure light? Yep, check and the oil symbol. Excellent. We are running dry then. But I reckon... No surprise that we got an oil pressure warning light. After all, this stuff is pretty thick. We gotta bear that in mind. It went out. Oh, it did? Right, well, I suggest we wait for a little bit. After all, it does get runnier as the temperature increases. And then we can go out and do some proper testing. The engine is nice and warm, we've removed the cap. It smells like honey, right? I mean, I can't be mistaken. It smells like honey. I mean, that's cool. Terrific. Let's have a look. What do you know? It's sticky. We're actually running the engine on honey, and it works. Okay, then. I suggest... We go try this out in the real world. No, we didn't even rev the engine. Wow, I don't hear any... No. 
I don't hear any sort of funny noises. Can you check the smoke from the exhaust pipe? I don't see anything. No smoke whatsoever. Like zero smoke? Let's head out then. I'm on the limiter. No problem, it just revs and even pulls quite nicely. It's not making any abnormal noises. What do you know? This is so cool. So check this out, guys. I've given it the beans in first gear, second, and it does not care. You can bounce it off the 7,500 RPM limiter, and the engine just continues to work with no issues. I'm on the limiter. Since the honey has cured the engine, as in no need for us to rebuild it or uh, toss it in the trash, let's go ahead and try this wonderful stuff. Condensed milk with sugar just the way you'd want it. I can't tell you the exact reasoning, but sugar is sticky and it should stick, right? Oh yeah, total fat percentage is 8.5, which is excellent. That's per 100 grams. So we should have some lubrication. It's going to caramelize. Oh yeah, you're actually right. We flushed the engine with honey, we're about to drop it. And perhaps we will end up with edible caramel. Okay, let's do this. Check this out, guys. This is what's left. I mean, not what's left. Uh, that's the honey we've drained. It has cooled down. And for some reason, it has become very thick. But we were able to rejuvenate the engine, though that was honey. And now? Just like I promised, assuming nothing and indeed nothing has happened to it, it is time to whip out the condensed milk. And here we go, pouring it into the engine. I'd rather add this to tea or coffee. Looking good, we've even gotten it to the max mark. Fired up. It's stuck. <laughs> it is clicking, everything's alright, the battery ain't the issue. I say we bring it down and since this has got a manual, We'll try push unsticking it. Yeah, sugar is sticky. And apparently not all that good for an engine, it is stuck. We good? Oh wow. Yeah, we got that you released the clutch. Nope. Yeah, we'd better tie a rope to it. Excellent. Let's try this out. It's turning, and the wheels are rotating. Yep. Oh, wait. That's actually the clutch slipping. Holy cow. This is actually quite interesting. That's it. Engine doesn't want to turn. What do you know? Looks like it's permanently stuck. What a waste of condensed milk. 
Okay, let's flush it with hot water and see if we can get it unstuck. Let's do this. Yeah, keep going, there we are. Wow, what the hell? Okay, here's what we've done. We've poured hot water into the oil filler neck, we've flushed the engine, and heated it in the process. It is quite warm to the touch. Let's see if we can get it to turn over. Go for it. Is that it? It is barely turning. Let's continue flushing it. Don't abuse it, Sergei. It turns, and that's already a good thing. Let's pour some more water in. Give it a light turn. Keep going. It's still having a hard time turning over. We need to get all of it out of there. Dry the cylinders. That'll get it to turn like it should. Okay, go for it. After draining the water and drying the cylinders. And there you go, it runs, it's all good. It's not even making any weird noises. Yeah, we're looking good. Switch it off while there's still a bit of life in it. We're looking good, we've started it. And now let's remove the cap and pour the condensed milk right back in. Let's do this. This is gonna take a while to pour back in. There we are. It's all good, it's above the middle. So let's close this and attempt to start it. Yeah, fired up. Okay, well, nothing so far. Okay. He's telling me there's no pressure yet. The light is out. Okay, we have pressure, that's nice. We'll let it run, allow it to warm up. And we'll see what happens. And here we go. No strange noises, it's running nicely. I see smoke. Wait, how? What? No, for real? What is up with that? Why is it smoking? Well, yeah, I can see the smoke. It must be the water and everything else we poured in. It'll burn out and we should be good. Okay, that is not good. Nah, it's stuck. Did the condensed milk caramelize so quick? You want us to give you a push? Yeah, we can try that. Yeah, let's go! And it started. What do you know? What was that all about? But the starter motor cannot turn the engine over. Push starting was our only option. That is a horrendous amount of smoke. What is up with that? Is that the condensed milk boiling? Yeah. This would be a good time to mention that we are giving this car away. <laughs> yeah, but we are going to replace the engine. It works, but I'm afraid to let the revs drop. Is it holding idle? Nah, well it is, but reluctantly.
It really wants to stall. And it has. It did just make some kind of noise. What do you know? And it smells like burnt sugar. So if it's refusing to start voluntarily, we're gonna make it do so. I mean, it was literally just able to. And it's running. The engine is working. And since we've gotten the engine to run, you want to head back to base? I think I will. Untie the rope? I already have. Oh, you have? Yep. Okay. I don't even want to drop the revs. Wouldn't want to stall. But let me try driving. Come on now, come on. Come on. Come on. There we are. It runs, yay! Terrific! It rips. And from here I'd better just maintain some kind of pace. Well, it does drive. Though it's not great, it felt a lot better on honey. This is very bad. What are you laughing at? The dipstick popped out. Dipstick popped out? I think I might know why. It really smells like caramel. It really smells like caramel? So we've boiled it. Feel free to take a whiff. Hey, over here. Oh, yeah. Cool. So we have made us some caramel. What do you want me to open? Let's see what's in there. That has to be full. No, this isn't emitting a strong odor. But there is one coming from somewhere, like burned sugar. Not indicating any signs of life. What can I even say? I'm assuming that this engine has zero compression. Okay, so we're looking good. The engine is nice and cool. Let's try firing it up cold. Though I might be a bit optimistic. But let's try it out anyway. What, you've put on some weight? Shouldn't have consumed so much condensed milk. <laughs> okay, right. Let's see where... It's become all greasy. It's really thick. It is sweet, why wouldn't it be? But let's see... Let's try dropping it. Oh, there you are. Come on, lift the car. Okay, my friends, uh, get the bucket. The interesting thing is that it doesn't want to drip out. But let's try prying it out. Get the camera closer. Oh, holy cow. See that? Even the screwdriver doesn't want to fall down. It really has caramelized. It does look like grease. 
Yeah, you can spread it on a piece of bread. Look at that. Holy cow. Are we having condensed milk for lunch? It does not smell nice. No, I don't want to try it. I already have. How is it? Oh, my. This is nasty. It has caramelized. Yeah, I don't think we need the bucket. And so, yeah, there you have it. <laughs> That's a wrap. Okay, well, just as we expected, the engine got stuck. The condensed milk has taken its toll, I mean the sugar it contains. And so that engine seized, but we've gone ahead and replaced it, so it's all good. This is a lightly used engine that is pretty much like new. It starts well, let it rip. It runs great, so yum. We've gone ahead and replaced the old heart of this car with something new. And now let's do a recap. This all started with honey, and the honey performed beautifully, I mean... The engine was no longer emitting smoke, it happily revved, there wasn't any knocking, it didn't seize, nothing went wrong with it. It started and performed just like it should. As for the condensed milk, it contains so much sugar that, despite it saying that the fat content was 8.5%, that didn't do much for us. Sugar is bad. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. Slava, don't you want to stay in shape? While nobody's watching. Yeah, this might be a good idea while nobody's watching. Well, we are squatting so that nobody sees us. Mind if I join you? Welcome to the club.